Hey guys, so I decided I wanted to do a vlog today and this is going to be a little kind of a follow me around I guess. I'm doing a bunch of little things. Right now I'm cleaning the hamster cage and as you can see I have this pink bedding in and it's right here. It's, it's this bedding and I'm actually really disappointed. Carefresh definitely is not my favorite bedding in the world. The only reason I like it is because they have the prettiest colors I think like they have the pink obviously this is such a pretty color but the quality of it it's okay like obviously it's safe but the bags it's how much is in here 23 liters of bedding is in here and it doesn't really expand like it says it expands but it really doesn't you really don't get that much and it's so expensive I think this bag was $30 and it doesn't expand barely at all so I can like the it doesn't fill up the cage really that much compared to my KT Cleaning Cozy. But it is kind of worth it because look at that pink. That is just so beautiful. I love it. It's so pink and pretty. And I think Spice really likes it. <laughs> just kidding. Spice really wants to come out. Hey, Spice. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, Suki. <laughs> I'm going to finish cleaning their cage now, so yeah. Okay, so here is the cage. Um, I actually did a couple of different things. So this is a tissue box, this brown thing, and it's from Michaels, and it is open on one end, and then there's like a little hole there. And I think this was so cute because um, if you put it up against the glass, if your hamster decides to sleep in it, you get a full view of them. So I thought that was a really good idea. And then there's just a little bridge because they like to go on top of it. Then I have this. This is my playground. It was made by Twilight Chinchillas. She is a lady who does custom order orders for chinchillas, guinea pigs, hamster. They're like basically all wood items, so hideouts and things like this. So I'll leave the link in the description bar if you want a custom order from her. Um, then I have a rainbow bridge and then just a couple of other things on this side. And the food dishes, obviously. What are you guys doing? She <laughs> mm. So there is sugar and spice. You guys don't really get to see sugar too much because sugar likes sleeping more than spice and spice is the more social one out of the bunch. So that's why you guys get, you see spice a lot more than sugar. So yeah, that is their cage. It's all clean now. Well, most of it. The white stuff is still from previously because I need to get more KT but it's still good to use like it's not dirty or anything I just took any of the yucky pieces or soiled pieces of bedding out and threw it away so yeah there is the cage here is the rabbits area I actually just cleaned it this morning so it is fairly decent before this you should have seen it it was like a disaster and it was really gross actually there was fur and pieces of hay and pieces of litter on the brown carpet and it just it gets so messy they are like the world's messiest rabbits <laughs> but both of them are doing really really well Lola is actually standing right beside me by the camera so you can't see her right now but you'll see her in a minute um, but I actually have kind of a little haul for the bunnies since I did order them some things. So the first thing I got was I ordered the Furminator off of Amazon. This is the large cat one and on at PetSmart it is around $50 I think. But I got it off Amazon for around $18 so that was a pretty good deal I guess. Um, I really like not having to pay $50 for something like this, but I just got this for Bugs mainly because of his coat type. It's kind of a long, it's kind of long and fluffy, so it doesn't come off, like fur doesn't come off with regular combs. I need something like this. Then I ordered off of bobbysbunnyboutique.com and this is one of my favorite websites for bunny things. And the first thing I got was um, Bugs' favorite thing and this is the carrot play patch and they have already destroyed all of these. They both really enjoy chewing on this and there's Lola. But they both enjoy chewing on this so I did also get the refill carrots because they'll probably end up destroying those. And then I got a bunch of the rosewood toys. Um, here's one of them. It's like a carrot. I can't remember all the all of their names, but I know the brand is Rosewood, but here's one of them. And then I got this toy, which it's kind of like coconutty. I think this is a coconut material. Yeah, here you go. You like that? No? 
<laughs> and then I got this, and this is, I think they come off of this string. You can take them off of the string, but I didn't want to. I just left them on because in case I want to throw them. But they're really small little play balls, I guess. So I got that. And then I got this toss toy. It's made from like palm leaf, and it has a piece of wood, and it just sits like that. And then the last one is this big one. And it just has some different materials in it, so like palm leaf, and just looks really fun. So they can dig and play at that. I also wanted to show you this. I picked this up for myself, but I wanted to show you guys because it was so cute. And it's a coloring book for adults, or I guess it could be for children as well, but it's just really cute. It's a million dog, a million dogs, and you basically color it. So I've already started. I colored the front page, and then this page did a little bit of this one but this one is kind of has more white spaces um, and it, I'm also sad some of the ink kind of bled through some of the pages so that's a little bit upsetting to me and then I also started this one it's adorable it's a bunch of dogs with fruits and things I love this French Bulldog with the watermelon I thought that was just adorable so I got that for myself Another thing I wanted to show you guys is my hay box. So this is the hay box we made for Lola and Bugs um, because I didn't want their hay being in the litter box like in it with them because it takes up a lot more room and also then Bugs likes to pee. Like he doesn't care where he'll pee, he'll pee right on the hay and then he'll refuse to eat it so he's kind of a picky bunny. So I didn't want that anymore because that's a lot of wasting of hay if he's not going to eat it and just pee on it. So we made this hay box and it's so super easy to make. I had seen ones made out of wood and I really wanted one of those but we just didn't have time to build one. So I picked up this small Sterilite bin from Canadian Tire, I think it was like five bucks and I got my dad to take his Dremel and he drilled two holes as you can see Lola's head is in kind of one. Um, there's two on each side and I can take this lid off here and put a ton of hay in it and then there is hooks on the back and it's hooked onto my CNC grids. So they really really enjoy having it like that. Um, Bugs is kind of annoying. He likes to be super picky and he likes certain pieces of hay I guess because he will go into this hole with his paws and um, head like Lola is doing and he will dig all that hay out and then just leave it on the ground and then find the hay he likes in the bin for I don't know he's just really picky and it annoys me when he pulls the hay out because then they end up peeing on it and it's such a waste and here is Callie if you guys wanted to know um, she's doing good and she's just in my room and yes her and Lola get along fine um, I didn't actually introduce them at all I just had Lola in my room and then Callie came in and they just sniffed each other and then like went on with their day so Kelly is a really good cat, so I didn't really have to do any introducing. So I have this tube out, and this is for the hamsters, but look who has gotten her big butt in there. Kelly! <laughs> That's so funny. Out comes a cat. That tube is way too small for her. I don't even know how she fit, fit in there. So I also want to show you Isabella. Because what is a vlog without Isabella? Um, so here she is sleeping on my parents' bed and she was snoring away. Um, I'm not going to bug her too much. So yeah, there's Isabella. She's doing really, really well. So yeah, guys, that is basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the bunnies and the hamsters and the cat and the dog, of course. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye!